Hey everybody, so you got your printer, you put it together and it's running great, but now you have the upgrade bug. Today, we're gonna to go through some simple prints that you can print right at home and install really easily. My name is Jim and this is The Edge of Tech. Okay, so we're just gonna jump into it right away today. So we have uh, some cable clips here that's gonna help keep the cable management going. We have another style cable clip that's gonna keep our cables out of the way of the back of the printer there. Um, we have a customizable filament holder that goes up on top and that's we're gonna put some bearings in and it's gonna allow our spools to spin a lot better on the top. We have the bullseye duct fan. We have the fan cover. We have the LCD cover. And we also have the uh, filament guide right here from One Bad Marine site. In the description below, I'm gonna link each time frame that these go through. That way, if you just wanna skip some and go straight to others, you can just look for that special time. So check that out in the description below. Let's do it. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with One Bad Marine's filament guide. You need a few pieces for this. You're gonna print the bracket, and then you're gonna print um, the wheel. If you don't have a bearing, you can print one without the bearing. It's right in the file. And everything will be linked in the description below. I had a bearing, so I popped one in this red wheel here. And then you'll need the pin. So we have our pieces. And what this is gonna do is change the filament path into the extruder. So what we're gonna do is there's this frame piece right here. We're just gonna slide the printed piece right there. We are gonna put the wheel over the filament if your filament is on, so the filament will go underneath the wheel. Then you're gonna take your little pin and you're just gonna slide your pin in and if you have it angled, if you have it lined up correctly, there we go, it goes right in. So then that runs the filament down under your wheel and right through into the extruder and that's it. This upgrade is done. So the next upgrade we're gonna do is this right here, this is a cable clip that will actually go on the back of your Z extruder here, just like that. So what I like to do is thread my screws into any printed pieces before I attach them. It makes it much easier to attach. So I, I, go, I went ahead and threaded the two M3 by eight pieces into the plastic as you see here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and attach them uh, onto the stepper motor. We're just gonna set it down here and we're just gonna screw these in uh, and attach it into the open screws right here. Now you got this attached to the back of the stepper motor and all we're gonna do is go ahead and take our ribbon cable and feed it in there. And then we're gonna take the longer of the cables that are left that goes up to your X gantry and we're just gonna feed it in there just like that. That cleans up this area a lot and it holds it off to the side just like that. Next, we're gonna look at the little C cable clips we printed. And what those are gonna do is hold cables to your extrusions. And they're really easy to put on. You just take one of the clips, you put it around the wire you want to hold. So you put it around the wire, and then sometimes it takes a little force, depending on how you made them, but you just snap them on. And they hold the wires just like that. So we're just gonna do a couple to hold this uh, ribbon cable out of the way of the front of the printer. Just like that. And that's it for the cable clips. And you can use those anywhere on the printer uh, that has the extrusions. So the next thing we wanna do is we wanna put a cover on the back of our LCD screen. So if you go to touch this, you don't hit the board all the time. So I printed this. It does have a cutout for that little beeper and it should use the uh, original screws that came with the back of this. So all we're gonna do is go ahead and remove these two bolts. And sometimes this bottom one's fun if you're too close to the table. If you're using an Allen wrench, what you could do is come closer to the edge of the table, and then that way uh, you'll be able to use your Allen wrench a little better. So you're gonna take those off, and I am gonna, for now, I'm gonna remove the ribbon out of the back of there. 
So what we're going to do is go ahead and take our Allen wrench or our bit driver and go ahead and remove these four screws in the back that's holding the board on and the screen on to the, to the frame here. Okay, so once you have all four out um, and your board is loose, you should be able to turn your cover over and put it right over the top of the board so it looks just like that. This one had a little rough start, but we're going to use it anyway. So then all you do is take your screws and put them back in the four holes, and we're going to do that now. Okay, I'm on my last screw here. So once we get this last screw into the back, that's going to hold the case on. And as you see, now we're covered in the back of your LCD screen. You won't have to worry about touching it with your hands at all. The, the last thing we have to do now is take our uh, ribbon cable and plug it back in. So we will do that. Make sure it's nice and tight. And then you just add the two bolts that you took out from the front of the frame holding this together. So once you get these two back in and tight, then that's it. You're done with this upgrade. The back of your LCD screen has a case and you don't have to worry about it anymore. So the next upgrade we're gonna do is the fan cover. And that protects this fan right here. So anytime you have any filament or anything fall down on the standard Ender 3, this does not apply to the Pro, but anytime you have anything fall down, it can go right into the fan, and on the other side of that is your motherboard. We don't want that to happen. So we're gonna install this right here. So what we need to do is go ahead and take out these two bolts, and that's where the fan is gonna mount. So you can use the Allen wrench that came with the case, or you can use uh, any Allen driver you have. And just go ahead, excuse my hand there, and unmount that. Set your new fan shroud down. What I like to do is get the screws started into the plastic first. Um, I'll do that on each side here. Then I'll set this down like this. And all you have to do is screw it back in. So once these two are screwed in, you're protected and this upgrade is done. Okay, so the next one we're gonna do is we're gonna actually swap out this filament spool holder with a bearing filament spool holder. The reason why we do this is because this one does not turn it creates a little bit of drag and sometimes you can actually hear it when it's pulling the filament around. To do that, we need to set, take the filament very carefully and just set it down off to the side. Then, what we're gonna do is take our nut off and pull the old filament holder out. Then, we're gonna take the new filament holder we printed and this is in three pieces. This is a, an adapter, this is the actual uh, holder here, and then this allows it, it's the Creality adapter, allows it to slide in like that. Then we can take the nut we printed, this does not use the stock nut, you have to print a new one, and we can go ahead and tighten it in. Once you get this tight, we're gonna go ahead and take the roller and we're gonna put two bearings on it. And that just slides right into the back so it sits on the back of that filament holder there. So once that's on, you can see it rolls much nicer. We can take our spool carefully. We can slide it back over, and now you, it rolls much nicer on there. So once you get your spool back on, that's actually going to reduce drag. That way when it's rolling around, there'll be less drag, and the extruder can pull the filament through much easier. So we've just gone through five printable upgrades that you can do at home real easy and real quick on your Ender 3. We were gonna do six, the Petsfang bullseye duct, but the problem is the mounting bracket, when I was putting it on filming, I realized the layers were bad and I was able to pull it into three pieces. That's not good. I need to reprint this. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do another video on it, but I didn't include it in this video. I'm still gonna link it below because it's a really good upgrade and I do have it on my other Ender 3 and it's highly suggested. With that being said, I hope you guys learned something today and always keep printing. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. 
We're almost to 350 subscribers. When I get to 1,000 subscribers, we're doing a big giveaway. Please, if you like what you saw, click the like button. If you want to see more, click the subscribe button below. And click the little bell over here if you want to be notified when the next great videos come out. Thank you again so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.